Hello, my name is Raman Mironov. This video explains autopropagation and alternative translations in a mega team. Autopropagation is enabled by default for each project. Let's see how it works. This segment displays in gray because this is a non-unique segment or an internal repetition. Okay, this is the second occurrence and this is the first occurrence and only the second occurrence is highlighted in gray. Right now both segments are not translated. Title and title. I will now translate the first occurrence, the first segment, into German. As soon as I save it to the project memory, the second occurrence gets auto-propagated as well. If I want to make a change to this translation, I can do it to any occurrence. For example, I will now update the second occurrence, and the first one changes as well. Therefore, the two benefits of auto-propagation are first, you do not have to translate all occurrences manually and the second one is if you want to make a change to all the occurrences you can only make change to one of them and all the remaining occurrences will auto-propagate. There is no need to update them individually. But there is a catch. Some of these non-unique segments may require different translation depending on the context. For instance, in this case title means the title of a document, work, submitted work. Whereas in this case, it means title of a person, in this case Mr. And the translation must be different. What I need to do is override auto-propagation and with the MEGA-T this couldn't be easier. I open the segment that I want to translate differently. I translate it. Okay, so instead of title, use add in title. And then I right-click the segment and choose create alternative translation. When I reopen this segment, the multiple translations pane updates. It says that for this source title we have two translations. This one and this one. It also shows the name of the file to which this alternative translation belongs and it also shows the context the preceding segment John Doe and the following segment Mr. It is very important to understand that alternative translations are both file dependent and context dependent this means that Amegati uses this alternative translation for this source only if two conditions are met. The first one is the name of the file. So if this source occurs in a different file, this alternative translation will not be used. And the second condition is the context. If any of the segments is different from what Amegati saved to the translation memory, it will not be used. Let's now look at what a mega T does with alternative translations behind the scenes. Of course, it stores them in the project's translation memory file. Alternative translations are stored in a separate section in the end of the file. It's called alternative translations. 
and here we can see that MagDB saved our alternative translation. Here we have the name of the file, the preceding segment, the following segment, and the alternative translation. And above, we also see the main translation, title, title 1. So, MegaT has two translations for, for the source title, and in the second case, it inserts Aaron title by relying on the information about the file name and the context, using it as an alternative translation. Now, if you want to remove an alternative translation, you have two options. The first one is simply to remove translation. As soon as I reopen the segment, I see that both translations have been removed. The main translation and the alternative one. And I have to do the translation again. Okay, so now both are translated and there is no alternative translation. The second option is to make this alternative translation a default one. Again, the alternative translation is gone. But in this case, because I made this translation the default one, it also replaced the other translation. So it became the default translation for the entire project. So you need to be aware of this when you use an alternative translation as default. This translation will override all other occurrences. If I open the translation memory, now, I'll see that the alternative translation section is empty. The alternative translation is gone. Now, a few best practices. If the context for two internal repetitions is the same, a megati will not be able to make an alternative translation. In this example, this concerns the word enemy which in both cases has identical context friend, friend, and here friend and friend. As soon as I translate the first occurrence the second one gets auto-propagated. But if I want to make an alternative translation Again, the first occurrence changes as well. Although I created an alternative translation, it fails to work because the context is the same in both cases. Friend and friend. Friend and friend. Friend and friend. One of the easiest ways to fix this is go to the source file. and make the context unique. For example, I can add a, a symbol to one of the words that makes up the context, like this. Save the file. Back in Omega T, the context became different. In this case, it is friend, friend, and in this case, it is friend and friend with a symbol, which makes it possible for me to make an alternative translation. Here we go. Another best practice is keeping this option enabled. With this option enabled, you will check each alternative translation when you go through the project using this command, Control plus U. And, uh, you know, double checking this tricky segments is a helpful habit. Okay, and one more thing to remember is, again, 
Alternative translations are both file dependent and context dependent. If you make changes to file name, and this happens quite frequently, alternative translation will stop working. So be sure to either keep the file name unchanged or change the file name in the project's translation memory. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to add them below. Bye-bye.